First, we want to find an area of established ecology that can be a forest, a area in your yard that has older growth trees, deciduous, that drop their leaves and create this topsoil, this leaf mold here. All that mulch is broken down into available nutrients. It creates this humus layer here. And you can see a lot of this webby fungi mycorrhizae growing through the topsoil. And that filamentous fungi, as well as the bacteria and other microbes in this soil, is great for inoculating. This is great for building soil, as well as inoculating seeds or creating teas that can further grow these microbes into a very beneficial inoculant really to grow the life in our soil it can also help to bolster the germination process from the very beginning of starting our seeds so i'm collecting some of this topsoil here under the canopy of these trees so these are the conditions that we're looking for. And here we'll zoom in to take a look at this beautiful topsoil. And you can see some of the filamentous fungi growing through the topsoil. This is some of the mycorrhizae and it's seen with the naked eye. And again, you're looking for those filaments. Now, just because you see white looking growth in the soil does not necessarily mean it's fungi. Sometimes you'll see an ashy white color in your compost piles or in anaerobic soil. And that more is an indication of actinobacteria blooms. So we're really looking for a good diversity of microorganisms, fungi, bacteria, some protozoa and nematodes as well. The reason why we're looking in these more established ecologies of forests where we have trees that are a decade or more older is because it's further along in succession, which means there's going to be a greater amount of fungi building and chewing down all that organic matter in the soil. As you can see here, I'm adding this topsoil that I've collected now to some filtered water. This is clean water that's dechlorinated. Now that's very important that you use dechlorinated water. You can use humic acid to bind up chlorine if you need to. Uh, but it makes sure that you really use dechlorinated water. It's very important. Otherwise, that could have an effect on the biology. And that's the whole point of this process here. It's to inoculate the beneficial biology we've collected from the forest and inoculate that into our seeds and create these symbiotic relationships really from the inception when that seed begins to germinate. These paint strainer bags come in extremely handy. I use them for all kinds of filtering off. You can get these at a hardware store. This is a five gallon paint strainer bag. They're really cheap. And here I'm just dipping my bucket in here with the strainer bag to filter off some of the debris in that topsoil, that mulch layer. And now I have my strained off Jadam leaf mold water ready to start soaking my seeds. Here we have some beet seeds that I'm soaking and I'll just give it a little whirl here. So depending on the hardiness of the seed, that's going to determine the time frame that you want to soak your seeds. For something like beets, I'm going to soak them for an hour or so. For more delicate seeds like carrots, lettuce, poppy seeds, we really only need to soak those for 10 to 15 minutes. And for the real hardy seeds and legumes, beans, sunflower seeds, anything really hardy like that, you can soak these seeds overnight as well. And once your seeds have thoroughly soaked, then it's time to plant your seeds in any type of manner you wish to do so, whether that's a direct sow or starting trays or pots or whatever you would like. Some of these trays are soil blocks. Here we have pepper soil blocks. And a little hint, you can use the leaf mold as a substrate in the soil blocks that you press out. So look for that video on soil blocks in the future. 
On that note, guys, this is a simple one, but a uh, very effective way to start your seeds. Very easy, as they say in the Jadam style. It's so easy. I just want to say and make a commitment to my subscribers. I just hit a thousand subscribers and I'm going to make a commitment from now on to post more regular videos for you guys. I really appreciate all the positive comments. So if you like the videos, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment, and pay it forward. And I'm making a promise right now to continue bringing a lot more information on natural farming, Jadam, KNF, permaculture, agroforestry. We're going to do some videos on herbalism, culinary arts, and taking all this produce that we have and share some recipes. We're going to do some fermentation, some pickling, all kinds of exciting stuff to come, guys. So stick with me. And thank you again for all the positivity, all the support. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned and have fun in the garden and on the farm. Peace and be well.